Hi, good morning. This is Ma'am Roda, your teacher in personal development. Our lesson for today is all about developmental stages in middle and late adolescence. So now, let's start by defining what is developmental stages. Human development focuses on human growth and changes across lifespan, including the following physical, cognitive, social, intellectual, perceptual, personality, and emotional growth. Why do we need to study human development? The study of human development is very essential in understanding how humans learn, mature, and adapt. Paano ba natin natutunan ang mga bagay-bagay na ating mga ginagawa sa kasalukuyan? Pinanganak ba tayong alam na natin lahat to? Mayroon bang taong ipinanganak na alam na ang lahat? Hindi ba wala? So throughout our lives, we human grow through various stages of development. The human being is either in a state of growth or decline. Maaring we are on the right way of growing. But there are some who are declining, parang tumatandang paurong. Kaya nga meron tayong tinatawag na slow learner or late bloomer. Okay, so siguro assess natin kung tayo ba ay kumikilos na naaayon sa ating edad. Or baka naman tayo ay parang baby pa rin. But either way, what I mean is either condition it imparts changes. Nag-grow ka man or nag-decline, it means there's a change that's happening in your developmental stage. Some aspects of our life change very little over time. And minsan, hindi naman yung talagang totally nag-grow ka, little by little. But then, it must be consistent and sabi ko nga, other may change dramatically, dahan-dahan. So, by understanding these changes, we can better respond and plan ahead of the activity. So, it is very important for you, mga anak, na malaman ninyo at matutunan ang developmental stage and its characteristics. Ano-ano nga ba ang developmental stage na ito? Number one, prenatal. When we say pre, we mean before. And when we say natal, we mean of the birth. So prenatal means from conception to birth. Mula nung ikaw ay pinagbuntis at nung ikaw ay ipinanganak. is prenatal. To expand it further, it is where the age when hereditary endowments and sex are peak, fixed, and all body features, both external and internal, are behavior. Mula sa sinapupunan ng inyong ina, kung saan kayo ay nabuo at na-identify na totally kung ano ang inyong sex organ at nabuo ang inyong mga extremities, ito yung start ng tinatawag nating prenatal. Number two, infancy or sanggol. It starts from birth to two years. Pagkapanganak hanggang dalawang taon. It is the age wherein um, it becomes our foundation wherein we learn basic things and many ontogenic maturations 
and skills are developed. Yung pagdistinguish ng color and the shapes and the face of the significant others, like so on and so forth. Early childhood starts from two to six years of age. At this stage, the child begins to have this pre-gang or barkada. And they love to explore things. Dito yung, nako, napaka-dangerous. Kasi mahilig silang tusok-tusokin lahat ang butas-butas. Kaya nga, pinakamahirap daw alagaan itong edad na ito. And they love to question why. Because they love to to know everything. When it comes to their language, they learn and imitate kung ano mga sinasabi mo. And usually, this is the stage we're in. Yung tinatawag natin napaka-negative nila. So, ibig sabihin, kapag meron kang gustong ipagawa, ang favorite answer nila is no. So, reverse psychology. Babalik na rin mo yung gusto mong sabihin and then yung ganun. So, the reasoning is very elementary type and are acquired and with initial socialization. That is how they experience it. Number four, late childhood it starts from 6 to 12 years of age. Late childhood meaning bata pa siya pero nandun na siya sa um, transition of getting to the teenage life. So here, the child learns and love to have a gang or a group or barkada. Dito, napaka-creative na nila when it comes to the self-help skills. They know now how to, to create things on their own and they are very sociable. And this time, ito yung they love school skills. Ito yung masipag-kasipagan ng pag-aaral. And yung kanilang play type are developed now. Kaya nga, dito pumapasok na lalo na yung mga millennials, yung mga computer games. Now, let's move to the stage where you belong. Number five, adolescence. Adolescence starts from puberty to 18 years of age. When we say puberty, andito na yung mga body changes, the voice. We're in, ito yung tinatawag nilang transition age from childhood to adulthood. Why? Because the sex maturation and the rapid physical development occur resulting to changes in ways of feeling. Meron na silang mga labdab, labdab, labdab na nararamdaman. And they have this thinking and acting na ang isang adolescence lang ang nakakaintindi. Pero, kapag Alam mo na ang developmental stage, malalaman mo na ito nga ang inyong pinagdadaanan. Sabi nga, it's just but natural. Number six, early adulthood. Early adulthood starts from 18 to 40 years of age. It is uh, the age of adjustment to new patterns of life. Why? Because from 18 to 40, ito na yung mga time na nagahanap na ng partner. And then, kapag may partner na at nakapag-decide na sila ay, they will go through with the marriage. So, their role such as spouse, will start and 
parenting will follow and of course the responsibility and that is to be a breadwinner kasi nga magpapakain ka na ng pamilya and that is why you have to have a work to earn for your family number seven middle age when you reach the age of 40 years up to the retirement you belong to middle age this is the age of transition when the adjustment to initial physical and mental decline so meaning andito na yung medyo nagkakaroon na ng konting problem sa physical nagkakasakit-sakit na mental medyo nagkakaroon na ng um, oblivion or shall we say medyo nakakalimot-limot na rin number eight old age it starts from retirement to death so retirement age when increasingly rapid physical and mental decline are experienced. Kaya tinawag nga nilang re, before, and then tire, pagod na or exhausted. So that's the time you have to retire. Kasi nga, the physical and the mental are diminishing or nagdi-decline na siya. So pagod na, kailangan nang mag-retire or magpahinga. Magpahinga sa mga trabaho. Hindi ko sinabing mamatay na agad, ha? Now, let's move on to the Havikers developmental task during the lifespan. The theory of Robert J. Havikers, he elaborated the developmental task theory in the most systematic and extensive manner. Havighurst believes that the development of each and every individual is a continuous process throughout the entire lifespan, occurring in stages, yung mga binanggit ko kanina, stages of development, where the individual moves from one stage to the next by means of successful resolution of problems or performance of developmental tasks. Ma'am, ano daw? Sinasabi ni Robert J. Hervig first na ang buhay natin ay may tuloy-tuloy na yugto or tuloy-tuloy na yugto ng buhay. Naniniwala siya na ang bawat isa sa atin ay may pinagdadaanan na estado sa buhay na hindi dapat nilalagtawan ang isang estado or stage at meron siyang ibinigay na mga solusyon sa mga problema or mga dapat nating gampanan para masabing successful ang developmental task. Tanong, Ma'am, para saan po itong mga task na ito? Okay, my answer would be, these tasks, according to Havighurst, are those that are typically encountered by most people in the culture where the individual belongs. Ma'am, question po, what if hindi na-accomplish yung developmental task. Okay, according to Havig Hurd, if the person successfully accomplishes and masters the developmental task, he feels pride and satisfaction and consequently earns his community or society's approval. Ma'am, ano po? Pakitagalog naman. Okay. According to Fabig Hurst, kapag daw naging successful ka at nagawa mo yung task 
at na-master mo yung developmental task, hindi ba't mayroong kayong feeling of pride and satisfaction? Para bagang itong ginagawa niyong pag-aaral, kapag nakakuha kayo ng mataas na score, hindi ba't pride kayo? Proud kayo, kumbaga yung pride nyo ang taas. At meron din kayong feeling of satisfaction. So, magkakaroon kayo ng community or society's approval. At masasabing, oy ang galing ng bata yan. Kumbaga, they will own you and be proud of you. What if he did not accomplish this developmental task? According to Hubbard Curse, the answer is, if the individual is not successful at accomplishing a task, he is unhappy and is not accorded to the desired approval by society. Of course, hindi ka masaya kapag hindi ka naging successful. Like for example, yung hindi mo nasagot yung mga question at na hindi ka nakakuha ng mataas na score. Siyempre, sino ba naman ang masaya ng ganun, hindi ba? So, this results in the subsequent experience of difficulty when faced with succeeding developmental tasks. That is, according to Habit Hurst, kapag nagkaroon na ng parang failure doon sa una mong ginawa, the tendency is, mas malaki ang chance or you will have this experience of difficulty doon sa mga susunod pang developmental tasks. But then, it could be a case-to-case -case basis if you are inspired, nagalingan mo pa, so why not? Go, go, go! This theory presents the individual as an active learner who continually interacts with a similarly active social environment. Now, let's start to enumerate the developmental tasks. Number one, infancy and early childhood. It starts from zero to five years of age. The developmental tasks Specifically, during these first five years, is the center around the mastery of essential building blocks for learning to succeed. More particularly in the school, this includes the ability to get along with other children, make friends, become engaged in social groups, and develop the capacity to manage powerful emotions. The growth and development of the infant or the early childhood are the most obvious. When a helpless newborn dramatically transform into a moving, yung marunong na siyang kumilos kilos, the talking and the walking the real wind with the mind of her own. During this year, parents likely will be marking development through development of obvious skills. Like, kailan siya unang nag-turn from side to side? Kailan niya unang kayang iangat ang kanyang ulo? Kailan niya kayang umupo? Little by little, kumbaga. In the first year, expect some socio-emotional development. Andiyan yung marunong na siyang tumawa, umiyak, at nangingilala na ng mga mukha. Meron yung mga batang madaling buhatin, kuhanin. Kumbaga, friendly na. Meron naman yung napaka uh, arasagid, sabi nila. But, when attachment formation becomes critical, especially with the caregivers or yung mga nag-aalaga, life functioning 
personality and relationship are shaped by the quality or lack of emotional as attachment form from early life. At the age of three, the child doubles her height and quadruples her weight. Ibig sabihin, yung kanyang height ay nagta times two at nagta times four naman yung kanyang bigat. And this time around, she has mastered sitting, walking, toilet training, using a spoon, scribbling, and sufficient hand eye coordination for play. So, dito, yung bata ay marunong ng tumayo, maglakad, magpupo by himself, marunong gumamit ng kutsara, marunong na siya mag-scribble, at yung kanyang hand and eye coordination, kaya niya nang gamitin. Lalo na sa kanyang paglalaro, doon mo makikita na yung bata ay um, developmentally increasing. Then, this time around, she should be able to speak and understand between 300 and 1,000 words. These early physical childhood skills are accompanied by social and emotional development where your child will look to her parents and caregivers. Hinahanap-hanap niya na kung sino yung nakagawian niya dahil yun ang kilala niya. Maaring ang kanyang parents o yung tagapangalaga or nag-aalaga. As well as the environment around her. Kaya minsan kapag yung bata dinala mo sa ibang lugar and he's not familiar to, talagang mag-iiyak yan. So, ito yung tinatawag nilang meron na siyang for approval and response. Between 3 to 5 years, ito yung tinatawag nilang the preschool years, a child is growing rapidly and beginning to develop gross and fine motor skills. The physical gross or growth is slows. Hindi na, hindi na kagayang rapid nung first year of life and the body proportion and motor skills become more refined by the age of five her vocabulary will have grown to about 1500 words and she should be speaking in sentences of five to seven words now let's move to the middle childhood from six to twelve years of age it is said by Six, your child should be able to understand some basic abstract concepts, including the time and money. Dapat marunong na siya magbilang ng pera or mag-count 1 to 100 and paano tumingin ng orasan. No? Kaya nga, siguro kung matatandaan ninyo, tinuturoan tayo paano tumingin ng orasan. Her cognitive skills or the knowledge dapat mayaman na siya dito pagdating sa intelligence. The personality, motivation, and interpersonal relationship will undergo refinement. So, ibig sabihin, these things dapat nare-refine na, napipino na, natuturoan na natin sila kung ano ang tama at ang mali. If you can figure out or just try to imagine a certain child, you will be amazed by watching her social circle grow and become more complex. Try to observe. So, with both children and those senior to her, makikita mo, minsan may ginagaya sila, nagmimimik sila, nagmimake up. Minsan, the way they talk is the way their parents do their talkings. Sabi ko nga, kapag yung anak ko noong bata siya at merong 
sinabing isang bagay o bagong salita. Isa lang ang itatanong ko, sino ang naging bisita natin? So meaning, so I believe, it might be the reason bakit may bago siyang words na kanyang ginagaya. The primary developmental task of middle childhood is integration. Development within the individual and the social context. Physical development is less dramatic than in early childhood or adolescence until puberty growth is fairly constant. Next is the 13 to 18 year of age. This is what we call the adolescence. Naku, this is the stage we're in. The adolescence is on the time of diversity. This time around, and ito yung stage of confusing, even frightening changes due to significant physical. Emotional and cognitive growth, new situations, responsibilities, and people. There is this what we call frequent and mood swings, sometimes depression and other psychological disorders. This is a very common to this age, though usually attributed to hormones or the so-called hormonal imbalances the child will react to the challenges and the struggles. Expect fluctuating or inconsistencies with the behaviors that will even out with time and maturity. During adolescence, it is expected that the teenager to experience accelerated periods of growth while they are eating you out of house and home, talagang andyan na yung, talagang lumalaki na siya talaga. It can be sa height. The height can increase up to 4 inches and 8 to 10 pounds per year. So that depends to the family or hereditary, no? Although for some late bloomers, a huge increase in height and weight can happen within a year especially with the boys. Adolescence is an important period for cognitive development, marking a transition in ways of thinking, reasoning, reasoning about the problems and ideas. Mayaman na siya sa pagra-rationalize, kumbaga. The teenager will gain the ability to solve more abstract and hypothetical problems but it is also a significant step towards independencies and emotional development. The adolescent often rely on their peers. They prefer na sabi ng kanina mga problems sa kanyang kaibigan rather than the family. Most specifically with the for directions and emotional support, they cling or doon sila nagsasabi. That is why it is very important to choose wisely who your friends will be. The journey from birth to independence is an adventure. So expect not two days are alike. That's a process on which a child is unique. In some cases, wala tayong masasabing katulad natin. We are all unique. That's a process and each child is unique. Remember, you can set the child's developmental by clock. These stages are but a guide to help you and your um, selves to look for trends and concerns. Bakit po nabanggit ang trends and concerns? Kasi po, kung i-compare ninyo yung panahon noon at panahon ngayon, di ba, we are now in the new normal. 
Dati, millennials. Pero ngayon, much, much different new normal na siya. Although I have touched in my previous discussion some of these different changes, let me summarize this. So, are you ready to learn the different changes experienced by an adolescent? So, these changes are physical, cognitive, emotional, social, and behavioral. Physical development. When it comes to the growth and development, the boys, same true with the girls, has this rapid growth of bones, muscles, that ranges from 11 to 14 years of age. Changes that has been observed are having this skin or oily skin with some acne and there is this increased perspiration or sweating especially underarm kilikili the rapid growth of pubic hairs um, underarm or between thighs growth of hairs on their face and it can be on the chest another would be the fantasies about sexual or intimacy up to the extent we're in masturbation and that would be normal another would be an enlargement of testicles erections the first ejaculation wet dreams and deepening of voice this can be observed both to boys and girls now let's talk about cognitive development the growth and development of the boys and girls during this stage there's there is this what we call dramatic shift in thinking from concrete to abstract they now know or knew to appreciate hypothetical situations they have this ability to think about the future evaluate alternatives and set personal goals changes observed to both girls and boys becomes more independent they take on increased responsibilities such as babysitting summer jobs or household chores so dapat meron na kayong ganitong responsibilidad sa inyong mga tahanan another would be shift their focus from play-centered activities to academics. So that is why mostly dinadaan nila sa laro. But then again, nasi-shift na ito to academic. It begins to consider future careers and occupations and begin to develop social conscience. Then they manifest concern about social issues. Let's talk about emotional development. The growth and development of the boys and girls has this identity wherein they establish their own selves or true identity. They have these new cognitive skills they have this ability to reflect on who they are and what makes them unique. The changes that has been observed during this stage, the emotional development, is the different ways of appearing, sounding and behaving, increase in social relationship, 
recognize and manage emotional or the emotions then they develop empathy learn to resolve conflicts constructively and develop cooperative spirit I think I have mentioned this a while ago during my lectures no? the social development and let me be particular with the three stages the social group is the peers or are the peers or the friends in early adolescence we're talking about the 9 to 13 years of age the center of social world shifts from family to friends yun nga they prefer to to tell and confine and ask for support sa kanilang friends instead of their family. The peer can be grouped into same sex. This stage, early adolescence, they prefer to be with same sex. They have this strong desire to conform to and be accepted by a peer group and Minsan, doon nagkakaroon ng problem if they find wrong friends. Peers under the middle adolescence. When we say middle adolescence, we're talking about the 14 to 16 years of age. This time, the peer groups gradually give way to one-on-one -on -one friendship. Yung peers na maramihan or friends, they prefer one na kumbaga gusto nila magkaroon na ng bukod tangi or one and only. So that one-on-one -on -one friendship and romances began or begins. The peer group tends to be gender mix. Halo-halo na. And the dating begins. Now, they have this less conformity and less tolerance of individual differences. Under the late adolescence, which is from 17 to 19 years of age, the peers or the friends is a series of intimate relationships that begins to develop. There is this intimacy that is about to develop. Let's talk about the social group of this early adolescence, the family. There is this increasing conflict between adolescents and their parents. Why? Because of this peer pressure. Mas gusto nila yung peers lang nila o yung kaibigan lang nila ang kanilang best friends. The family closeness is most important protective factor against high-risk behavior. So, dapat dito sa stage na to ang ma-develop ay yung pagmamahal sa family. This is same true with the middle adolescence. What about late adolescence? Family influence is in balance with peer influence. Let's move to behavioral development. The growth development shaped their identities and tried out new decision-making skills. They developed realistic assessments of them. They gained peer acceptance and respect. My dear students, you need to plan your personal timeline. You must be careful and be mindful of the events that made you grow. You have to learn the important wisdom in life. Everything that you have encountered as if where they rise from challenges. Beside from this topic about the developmental stages, you have to focus on the resiliency rather than the downfall. Whether you are experiencing good or bad, still, I can say that it is a learning experience. 
here or in this way, you can see the future progressively and full of hope. Sabi, sabi nga, iwasan mo kung ano yung makakasama sa'yo. This time around, you know now what is right and wrong, isn't it? Sabi nga, iwasan mo kung ano yung mga pangit na pangyayari. Kung meron ka mang na-experience, pulutin mo yung mabuti at iwaksi mo ang masama. That's all for now. Goodbye class. Good luck and stay safe. Let me end this lecture with this saying. Maturity is achieved when a person postpones immediate pleasures or long-term values by Joshua L. Liebmann.